And we do have the Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And we do have the Three of Pentacles. I simply adore this combination of cards because one speak, um, speaks of the heart and the other one speaks of working together, creating something together, making it um, solid, right? Abundant. Three of Pentacles, it's um, also material, um, right? Um, creation. And we do have the Queen of Cups and the Knight of Wands. This can be you. Usually it's a Sagittarius, but it can very well be an Aries Leo Sagittarius with the Queen of Cups. That is absolutely love in this connection and a desire to build a life together with you and this person. And emotions, Queen of Cups, she knows exactly what she wants. Oh my God. Queen of Cups and the Empress. Absolutely, they see you as the Empress or you see them as the mother of your children, the father of your children, somebody who's abundant, stable, solid, a business mind with a heart of gold. That's the Empress and the Queen of Cups is a world of love. Ten of Wands. Somebody feels responsible of something. Um, doing all the work. Burdened by the current situation. If that is separation, no talking or whatever happens right now. And the Princess of Swords, Page of Swords. This is communication. And by the way, with, with this deck, I do not read reversals. So somebody here um, is willing to talk. Page of Swords is, I'm watching you. I'm seeing you. I want to talk to you. I have something to say. I have an idea. Oh, a new leap of faith here. We do have the Fool and the Sun. Somebody wants happy endings and a new leap of faith with the world. And the full again. Oh, 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 oh. This is, we love confirmations. Five of Wands, if ever it comes back, we know it's yours. I simply adore this and I simply adore the uh, confirmations, right? The full twice and the world. And guess what? Of the Major Arcana, the world is the last card and the full is the first one. Just to kind of um, illustrate the, uh, the cycle. The cycle of life and it is a cycle ending and a beautiful new one beginning a carefree one kind of the full is a very light energy okay so let's see Leo we have past energies on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual energies let's have the current energies on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual energies and let's have the possible outcome on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual energies bottom of the deck ten of pentacles solid ground to walk on a family based on love we do have the lovers and the um, ten of pentacles we do have Seven of Swords twice, but it's no longer ours, right? Might have been a Seven of Swords situation, a deceiving situation, but what we are taking right now is the Ten of Pentacles and the Lovers. We build on solid ground over here, right? And we start new in happy ways. So Leo, in the past, you and this person, well, on your side, we do have the Knight of Swords. This is coming in quick, uh, maybe too quick right this is the energy of um attacking the situation right um we have no patience here knight of swords is like i am going to win this and it's paired with the nine of cups which is wish fulfillment and desires um so it kind of speaks of the clarity of the mind that you had in regards to this person um they were absolutely your wish fulfillment with the nine of cups they've made you happy in the past in so many ways and the knight of swords is i am going to fight for this i am absolutely and i'm sensing we'll see how the energy is um revealed to us um, um through the reading and that's the beauty of it you know i love when i turn one by one usually in traditional traditional it's one by one because we have revelation and messages without really influencing and creating a message right traditional goes with one by one but um i'm um you know it this is the energy of not only i'm going to fight for it but i'm going to have this one right 
it's chasing after your uh, wish fulfillment and knowing and having the clarity of the mind and going for it, right? Now, Leo, this person of yours, um, they have um, your energy all over them. And we also have the judgment, which is a rebirth of this, um, of this bond. All that to say that they wanted you back. It started in the past. I'm sure they want a leap of faith here because there was a chapter with them. And now they want happy endings to this chapter, building with love, on building on solid ground, right? Or building love on solid ground. And you show up here twice already. So for some of you, might be another Leo. can be simply you being the dominant energy in this connection uh, or the, um, the strongest one. And maybe you are dealing with somebody really taking a little bit um, of your traits and um, your energy to be themselves, you know. And it happens. We have people, strong people, and we have people really um, modeling after, after us. So maybe this is what happened for you. Um, but I'm sensing they were so into you and wanting a rebirth of this connection. The judgment is final decisions. It's about reconciliations and rebirth because we have the full twice, which is a leap of faith. So they've decided, somebody here decided in the past to start over. Now, mutual energy is between you and this person. We do have the Six of Swords, Peace of Mind, and the Ten of Pentacles. So for some of you, this is really uh, both of you wanting peace of mind in this connection and building on solid ground again. We have Ten of Pentacles twice. For some of you, this is about kids, family, legacy, and um, you might have been in different energies, right? We have the energy of attacking on your side and really being determined and kind of in a warrior mode because Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius is the energy of the warrior, right? So we might have um, been indifferent while well, this person was um, smitten by you because you show up here. They were staying strong, attracted, and with the rebirth, really in that desire to make it happen again. So that's why mutual energies, we have somebody in uh, needing peace of mind with the Six of Swords and yet between the two of you, this beautiful energy of um, building on solid ground. So where are we right now, uh, Leo? We have the Six of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. We want reciprocation. We want to be kind to this person. We want to have them again. We want a balanced connection with the Six of Pentacles. A decision of some sort and we are being patient. Seven of Pentacles. We know harvest time is coming. That's by excellence the energy of feeling confident and knowing that you know, no matter how long it takes. With the Seven of Pentacles, we're going to be kind. That's the Six of Pentacles. And we, we're going to make the fair decisions and the right decisions. And we're going to reciprocate feelings for them. Now, this person of yours has the Devil right now in their energy. We do have the Devil with the Four of Cups. They might have missed an opportunity here because of um, Devil energy. Um, can be something around them, can be addictions, can be codependency. They might be entangled in some kind of energies with somebody else. The devil, we know it's about lust, it's about um, fears, right? And they might be in this energy of um, fear, boredom, discontent, because and missed opportunity, right? It's kind of the universe saying they are not 100% uh, paying attention just yet. Um, and it's because of, right, the devil energy. So, can be a Capricorn you are dealing with, or somehow there is a Capricorn involved in this. And uh, we're going to call the signs at the end. So, yeah, they are, they are um, in a different energy there. Now, mutual energy is between you and this person. We do have the High Priest, um, which is the, the um, Hierophant in traditional tarot. And the page of pentacles so that is an offer of commitment between the two of you all that to say that both of you actually want this commitment and it has to be solid right the hierophant is no joke um it's um a marriage commitment it's um you know really like a marriage proposal this combination by excellence but can very well um, mean um, that nobody's joking around right we want um, Leo something solid, we, we don't want to 
you know, lose our precious time. And they want the same. But again, they are coming uh, right now at the current moment with the devil energy and the four of cups. Uh, being focused on something else, something... Maybe they are taking this as also... They might be focusing on their own demons. Um, and maybe not seeing the opportunity of reconciliation that you have for them or the opportunity of making things um, fair and balanced again. Moving forward, absolutely they want to put the effort in this one. We do have the King of Pentacles, a very nurturing energy. The energy of um, taking care and the energy of the provider. And we also have the Eight of Pentacles. So not only do they want to take care of you, but they also want to learn how to take care of you, right? Because it's the apprenticeship card. With the Eight of Pentacles, they want to develop the skills to nurture you and take care of you, right? Can also be a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn you are dealing with. And they show up, they come your way because this is what's coming your way or the outcome. With this energy of, you know, feeling solid and, and dead serious about now the energy coming their way we do have the three of swords and the ace of swords they are going through struggles here this is the energy of being heartbroken either by a communication either by a new beginning either by information by whatever crosses their mind this is the ace of swords no for some of you ace of swords is cutting out the bs right and because they are going through the devil energy it can be very well somebody um like a swipe clean kind of um, energy where whatever was painful for them, they are uh, cleaning it up, right? Uh, but it can go both ways. Um, so, oh, let's have another one. Okay, so let's, let's have the... I usually don't, don't do that, but I'm kind of called. So let's see what the pain is and which way it goes, right? Because it can be painful communication and struggles to communicate and um, with the Three of Swords, but can also be the opposite, actually, of cutting off heartbreak with the clarity of the mind. So, oh, Knight of Cups. So they are healing some... I, I believe, um, Leo, and we have Seven of Swords again. I, I believe somebody had a deceitful um, energy here. Somebody might have done something here and um, and created pain. And this is Knight of Cups, right? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But this is the energy of love over heartbreak because now they know better. Ace of Swords. Now they know better. Now they have an idea. They want this new beginning. This reading screams new beginnings, starting with the... Um, like a second shot at, at something and that was heartbreak and now they know. Knight of Cups. This is communicating love and healing this heartbreak. I feel it's yours but can be theirs because they also have the devil in their energy and devil and three of swords, they go very well together. Um, so Leo, page of wands, you show up here. This is about passion between you and this person, attraction and sensuality and the two of swords thinking about it right so maybe we are not just in this energy the lovers right making love and choices but we are thinking about it and feeling the fire in the belly that's the knight of wands um so again both attracted to each other and yet in that position of two of swords i'm you know thinking and and um you know it's a little bit of waiting till we get the clarity we need. I'm sensing you, you are pretty clear on, on your side, but this person is, um, you know, going through. We do have the judgment, and yet it's such a beautiful ascension. Um, Leo, they went through having your energy in the past all over them, and the idea of rebirth and having something back. Um, and then we have this energy of, yeah, you know, about an awakening of, okay, something is toxic in my life, something is not good, something is not helping, and now we are healing the heartbreak that came from Four of Cups energy, uh, Devil energy. And in terms of zodiac signs, you do have Gemini, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, you have Leo like yourself, you have Taurus, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, Capricorn twice, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn again with the King of Pentacles, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and Fire Sign like yourself, and the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. 
kind of all the signs, um, all the zodiac signs, but I'm just saying. Um, so Leo, let's ask for some guidance. Let's have romance angels. It's a love reading. Let's have only one. So, um, what do we need to do here? We have new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings and we do have chemistry bottom of the deck. So, um, new love, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings and that is a strong magnetic attraction here. You do have romantic feelings again. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So Leo, if you have a new love, it does look like you should um, go that um, route, I would say. But let's have more insight and, and then of course you always have to use a better judgment and your free will and we do have guardian of action that's exactly your energy so it's like being yourself and you have to see the bottom of the deck <laughs> it's even more beautiful um so it's time for you to step up and be the leader leo your natural leadership skills are being called into action. This is your moment in the sun, so move into the light and shine for all to see. This card is also about a person who has charisma, is inspiring, enjoys a challenge and loves the spotlight. And bottom of the deck we do have the Ten of Cups. Life is, a, life is blessing you with a wonderful and loving family. Well, that's true, I guess, right? Great happiness and emotional fulfillment are now on the horizon. Harmony with those you love is assured. By offering forgiveness, understanding and kindness to others, you're rewarded with unconditional love. Yeah, I believe you are guided towards this person. You show up here with the Ten of Cups energy, right? Showing kindness, understanding, forgiveness and unconditional love. And we have new love romantic feelings. I believe you just got your green light over here um in terms of guidance and now let's see what energies we need to um to put in the flow again right let's see surrender to inner peace leo you have to be at peace baby so it says cultivate inner peace on a daily basis in quiet meditative moments focus on the stillness within and enjoy this inner refuge isn't it amazing like meditation right Others will feel your good vibes too and your life will flow more easily. So we need peace of mind. We absolutely need some peace of mind here. We do have surrender to spirit. I love this. Once you've done everything you can to achieve a goal, turn the situation over to the divine. Let spirit work its magic for you. It's uh, both of them, right? Give your worries to the spirit and just uh, work on your inner peace. I love this. We do have surrender denial. Accept people and situations exactly as they are without denying the difficulties. Then you can see things clearly and make the best decisions. Cool. We have virtue. We need to get the virtue back into the flow. So you acknowledge your loving spiritual attributes that encourage others to grow, right? We need to help others to grow. So you acknowledge your loving spiritual attributes that encourage others to grow. And let's have another one. And we have balance. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. So this is the balance we need to get back into the flow, Leo. Uh, maybe this is your own balance, right? Or in um, regards to relationships. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. And speaking of forgiveness, Ten of Cups had something about forgiveness and bottom of the deck says forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. So you are guided to forgive them. Give it to the universe, give it to the spirit, inner peace, no denial, and helping others or creating balancing relationships with balanced relationships with um, the ones you love. I love this. This is the most amazing reading ever. And that is like beautiful new beginnings with happy endings. 
Um, if um, the energy I picked up on. So Leo, you know I love you, right? Please stay safe for me and strong. As always, please let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And come see me next time. Love you. Take care.